What's going on? Welcome to Asian Coast Self. You give me the HKO special help the king out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so let's get into this about now. Yes, the WNBA, uh, Caitlin Clark, and you know, uh, Russell Wilson said, Hey, she needs to get paid more. But let's look at this article and talk about it. So, yes. And here we go with the article. Russell Wilson urges for WNB to pay Caitlin Clark what she deserves and then some. So, woman wages in the WNB needs to change after drafting potential GOAT Caitlin Clark. But here's the thing. There's no way to look at this case. Caitlin Clark was just drafted by the Indian of Fever in a historic WNBA draft. Without question, this has been the most talented event in the league's history. With other standout drafts as Angel Reese for the Chicago Sky, Cameron Brink for the Sparks. But Caitlin Clark is arguably the most hyped draft name that was number one overall after scoring records she obtained in the NCAA. With this historic selection, changes in women's wages need to happen. And NFL quarterback Russell Wilson is all or that. In fact, he decided to make his voice be heard on X by reposting Caitlin Clark's expected salary at the Indiana Fever for the next four years. So, how much will she she'll be earning? According to Sport Rack, Caitlin Clark signed a rookie contract with the Indiana Fever for the next four years. So she will reportedly earn a total of three hundred thirty-eight thousand fifty-six. That will be divided in smaller parts that will slightly increase over the years. In 2030-24, she will earn a reported seventy-six thousand five hundred thirty-five. Of course, with taxes, agent fees, it's going to be like fifty <clears throat> during the twenty-five season. Caitlin will earn $78,066. In 26, she will earn an estimate $85,873. And lastly, she is earning a potential $97,582 in 27. And But for Russell Wilson, this is expected income is nowhere near what Clark and the other WNBA rookies deserve. Compared to the NBA, they are making a fraction of what men rookies make. So here we go. Okay, so he's saying, oh, ladies deserve much more. Praying for that day. See? So he posts this contract of Caitlin Clark. Four years, 338 50 and 56 and change. Okay? So you see what the next four years. But here's the thing. Um, you know, Caitlin Clark, she's not going to really care about the WNBA, you know? Uh the salary, she's going to make more in all of her endorsements. So let's see. But Wilson hope this can change the class of 24, which is talent pack, which will inevitably bring more sponsors, viewers, fans, and far more clout than the WA currently has. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reek alone has been amongst the most famous and search at least of the year. But the WNB needs to take a closer look at the numbers that these women are producing and increase their salaries accordingly. They have a massive opportunity to enact serious change in a sport that needs more wage equality with the new generations that are coming. So it's cool to see how, you know, Caitlin Clark's new teammates have her in India, especially after some of the comments over the last few months. The entire city is going to rally around her. So let's see, let's look at this video right here. So listen up. Wow. So there you go. So yeah, but here's the problem with Russell Wilson not understanding the economics of the WNBA. So the WNBA has in almost close to 30 years have been subsidized by the NBA. So, you know, they have not really put butts in the seats. So 
what this means for Caitlin Clark, she's going to bring the fans because we already see the ticket sales. Her jersey has sold out. That has never happened ever. Her jersey, I, I was trying to get a jersey. It's on pre-order now. It's sold out. So, you know, majority of the WNBA has not made money, has not been there. And Caitlin Clark could move the needle. Now the question is, can she do it? Maybe. I don't know. So we're going to have to see how this season's going to go. And, of course, Caitlin Clark, during college at Iowa, pretty much, you know, you know, carried this with her, you know. And, you know, the fan base had a lot more college women's basketball games in the NBA. But this is still a matter of question. And here's the thing, you know, you have to have Caitlin Clark, you know, protected. Not be, you know, whatever the LGBTQ. You got, she's got to be the story, just like Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, you know, Kobe Bryant. They got to just be the story. Caitlin Clark in Indiana basketball town. You got to let the story go. And that's where it's going to make. The needle move now if she can move the needle for the wnba yes that would be a step in the right direction so you know i'm and you know she has you know teammate leah boston who was rookie of the year for indiana she has they have a potential to make maybe a postseason run i don't know but right now this is all you know, smoke and mirrors, but Caitlin Clark, can she do it? I think she could move the needle, but it's got to move on its own. And, you know, right now, the hype is out there. The fan base, I mean, look, the, at the draft, you know, I think, you know, at that arena, they packed the house out for a draft. So I think... We'll see about Caitlin Clark, and I I look forward to seeing this season. For once, maybe the WNBA could turn a profit, but we have to see how it goes. So, yeah, Caitlin Clark, she's the big name. And, of course, we do have other talent like Cameron Brink and, you know, um, and all these other players, you know, uh, Cardoso, Angel Reese. But we will see. So we're just going to have to see how this season goes. And then we'll see if the needle moves. All right. So if you enjoyed any of this content, please give me the HKO special help the king out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. So other than that, I will see you in my next video.